Good morning, folks. We've had more solar flares, more CMEs, and there's no reason not to expect that to continue. We also have two excellent articles to hit today, one on new aurora seen at the moons of Jupiter and the other on subtle solar climate forcing. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. You can see the eruptive activity at the northern incoming sunspots with a bit more around the limbs. One of the more prominent features is the coronal hole set up, one to the south, and one incoming on the equator. The latter will face Earth while the energy from the previous CME impact discharges from the crust so we're at increased earthquake watch going towards the weekend. You can see more of that eruptive activity in 304 angstroms here. Several solar flares, including one that exceeded M5, but they did not produce Earth-directed CMEs. The most active sunspots are on the north, turning in to face Earth this weekend. Eyes open for more flares and for those coronal hole effects. Up first is a note about newly discovered aurora at the moons of Jupiter. This one catches my eye because while we must recognize it's possible, they simply didn't see them before. It's also possible these are new features in the solar system. We've seen unprecedented aurora at Neptune and Uranus during this ongoing solar system shift, not to mention the changes in Earth's aurora, so we will be keeping an eye on that story. Top science news comes as new data delineates between coronal hole driven space weather and CME driven space weather. The changes in the atmospheric electricity are not only noted, but there are key differences between taking a plasma shock wave, which has several ways of affecting the entire planet, and the coronal hole magnetic fields, which do not always affect everywhere the same way. This actually makes sense when you consider that a coronal hole stream has a set magnetism which would affect the north versus south hemisphere oppositely. It's one more thing that makes it harder for them to determine space weather impacts on our atmosphere when one hemisphere is forced one way and the other hemisphere is forced the other way. Doing a global analysis can cancel them out so it can appear there was no effect at all. But it appears they're learning baby step by baby step. Folks, both San Jose and South Carolina are now sold out. Grab your tickets to one of our other tour events this spring at the link below the video. And also don't forget, in March our store will be transitioning, so grab these items before they're gone forever. We are not ordering any more of the soon-to-be-retired designs. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.